In 2015, my Facebook alarm clock uh, is what wakes me up. Actually, um, I might even have my, my Facebook pillow um, giving me you know, messages while I sleep. But in any case, my Facebook alarm clock wakes up with some, some news from friends and some photos, maybe some greetings from my friends and family that are recorded, some music that people in my network like. So that's what gets me out of bed. Um, you know, when I go into the bathroom, uh, my mirror uh, may have a, a transparent display on it that's giving me some information that's also coming off of Facebook, like news, weather, uh, maybe some photos from my family and friends. And uh, then I go into my kitchen, and uh, in there is some kind of an ambient display. Maybe it's um, a tablet device or some kind of a dashboard, and, and that's sitting on a counter, or maybe it's on my fridge or table, and that's giving me information. Uh, I might actually pick it up and then be reading the sort of morning news on my tablet, and most of that's going to be coming through Facebook or include Facebook, because a lot of the things I care about are things that my friends like or that are actually from my friends. And so I think Facebook will be woven quite intricately into my experience. Then I'll get in my car, and uh, as I'm driving, certainly I'll, I'll be getting updates of various kinds. They'll probably come through as speech or maybe in a heads-up display so they don't distract me from the road. Um, I'll be able to get reviews, what, what places like restaurants and stores that my friends like. And, um, you know, when I get to the office, I'll, I'll go into my um, temporary office area because we'll be moving around by then. We won't be locked to any desk. Um, but I'll sit down somewhere and I'll, I'll log in. And Facebook will be part of my experience. Even though my boss won't want me to be wasting valuable time on Facebook, by then, the argument will be that Facebook helps me do my work. In fact, they'll even be a professional part of Facebook uh, that competes with LinkedIn or perhaps they'll buy LinkedIn. And so that will be woven in as well. I'll use Facebook uh, for business networking and to keep track of, of what my colleagues are doing as well as maybe information about sales prospects or people I'm going to be talking to on the phone. So there as well, Facebook will be a, a big part of, of my, work, my work life. And then uh, when I go out, uh, after work for a little rest and relaxation, maybe to a bar um, or to hang out with friends. Again, we'll use Facebook to choose the venue. Uh, maybe we'll even use Facebook uh, to check in and to maybe even order because we'll be hooked in to the reservation system at the venue as well. Uh, so we'll get our table, maybe even um, order our food um, and cash in some coupons. Of course, in shopping, Facebook will have something like a Groupon. We'll be getting daily deals through them as well and, and participating in competitive um, buying and various forms of auctions and offers. And so I think, you know, it'll really be tied into everything we do. And the, the kind of unifying thread will be personalization and the fact that Facebook, Facebook will be learning about us and, and generating a profile that gives us recommendations, makes us eligible for various special offers and deals, um, and tries to kind of help us be more effective both online as, as well as in the physical world and maybe even socially.